Thank you for stopping by. Today's devotion is for July 7th. The scripture says, Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Zephaniah 2 and verse 3. The tempest is coming, and we must get ready for its fury by having repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord will arise to shake terribly the earth. We shall see troubles on all sides. Thousands of ships will be hurled into the depths of the sea. Navies will go down, and human lives will be sacrificed by millions. Fires will break out unexpectedly and no human effort will be able to quench them. The palaces of earth will be swept away in the fury of the flames. Disasters by rail will become more and more frequent. Confusion, collision, and death without a moment's warning will occur on the great lines of travel. The end is near. Probation is closing. Oh, let us see God while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. God forbid that I should cease to warn you. Women, seek the Lord with all your heart. Come with zeal, and when you sincerely feel that without the help of God you perish, when you pant after him as the heart panteth after the water brooks, then will the Lord strengthen you speedily. Then will your peace pass all understanding. If you expect salvation, you must pray. Take time. Be not hurried and careless in your prayers. Beg of God to work in you a thorough reformation, that the fruits of His Spirit may dwell in you, and you shine as lights in the world. Be not a hindrance or curse to the cause of God. You can be a help, a blessing, Does Satan tell you that you cannot enjoy salvation full and free? Believe him not. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. And even though Satan does say many things and will tell us that we can't enjoy salvation, we know that he is a liar and a deceiver from the very beginning. We know that all these things that are going on in the world, yes, it has stuff to do with our decision making and the consequences of our decisions, but also we can see that the devil has been busy wrapping up people's mind and subjecting people's mind to so much nonsense and chaos and things like that, that they are now acting out and behaving in ways that makes no sense. It is as if we have people who are just possessed. As I recall, you know, a mom trying to kill her children, her four kids, and I think it was five of them actually, and a couple of them were jumping out the windows. And, you know, we have family killing just killing each other. And there's also the, the natural, as they say, natural disasters with the, the flames and the earthquakes and places being flooded that normally wasn't flooding. It's so much going on, dear Lord. And if we would stop and pay attention, we can see that your word is true. The Bible is true. So I pray that as things continue to happen, we would take time to go into your word and see that your word is true. And if that part of the word is true, then so is the rest. And so it is up to us to realize that we are sinners in need of a savior and that Jesus is the only true savior. And so when we accept his gift of salvation, we can then live new lives. We can be transformed. Our characters can be changed where we are speaking and thinking like Jesus, where our behaviors would be like Jesus. 
And as we gain more and more knowledge of your truth, that we can go out and share that with those that we come in contact with. Father, I pray that you will please forgive us of our sins and forgive us of, of not spending enough time with you. Forgive us of not, of not taking time to pray. To pray and wait on you to respond. Help us to take time in our personal time to communicate with you, to get directions and guidance and comfort and peace from you. And please help us to allow your Holy Spirit to take full control so that we can exemplify the fruits of your spirit. We can be loving, we can be at peace, we could experience joy. We could experience gentleness. We could be gentle to others. Help us to take time in your word and ask and pray always first before we even read because the Bible is a spiritual book and it can be only understood by the help of your Holy Spirit. So help us to pray for understanding and help us to take the time to study your word so that we are prepared to meet Jesus face to face and live for eternity as the original plan was. Thank you for your blessings and your love. Forgive us once again, I pray. Be with our families and our loved ones. Help us, dear Lord, to share your love with those we come in contact with, as I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.